What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing. We're going to continue with the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series with a welterweight from East Port, Maine. He held the title from December 14th, 1892 to July 26th, 1894. His name is Mysterious Billy Smith. Let's take a look at his career. Amos Smith. He was born in East Port, Maine, May 15th, 1871, but lived during the early part of his young life in St. John's, New Brunswick, Canada. He was an Irish American who stood five foot eight and a half inches and weighed 145 pounds. He started professional boxing in 1891. He was rated high in the ranks of the ring greats. He claimed the World Welterweight title in 1892 when Patty Duffy, the champion, retired. He made his claim stand up by defeating Danny Meehan, stopping him in 14 rounds in San Francisco in a contest recognized for the crown. He lost the title to Tommy Ryan. Tommy Ryan was an outstanding fighter, very good fighter. Minneapolis in 1894 in a 20-round bout, refereed by Joe Jorinsky, familiar name. But in 1898, he regained the crown by defeating Matty Matthews in 25 rounds. He won from the great Joe Walcott in 20 rounds and then lost the title to Rue Ferns on a foul in a 20 uh, 21st round. They fought that fight in Buffalo on January 15, 1900. Smith had a remarkable record and has been called by old times subscribed one of the greatest of all welterweights. He died on October 15, 1937 at Portland, Oregon. Take a look at his record. 1892, February 16th, he fought Frank Kelly in a specific club. Seventh round knockout, March 21st, Billy Armstrong. That was in San Francisco, 13 round KO. April 28th, Tommy West, Portland, Oregon, 11th round draw, June 29th. Charlie Gleason, Port Oregon, he won on uh, four rounds. September 21st, Shada Marber. Now, Shada Marber was a very good fighter as well. I have a profile on him. 26-round KO. Daddy, uh, Danny Neham, 14-round KO. That was for the welterweight championship. 1893, April 17th. Tom Williams of Australia, $4,500 for one fighter, $500 for the next fighter. Corny Island Athletic Club, second round KO. Tommy Ryan, wow, so August 29th before Tommy Ryan. Tommy Ryan was a very, very good fighter. He was. I got a profile on him as well. Corny Island, Atlantic City, or AC, excuse me, ACD, uh, six rounds. Billy McCarthy, Australia, Chicago, which means he fought him twice, six round draw. That was a title bout. 1894, Tommy Ryan, Boston, six round draw. Fletcher Robbins, four round uh, KO. Eddie Butler, Second round victory, Tommy Ryan, Minneapolis, he lost in 20 rounds, he lost the welterweight crown. Referee was Joe, Joe Jorinsky. 1895, March 1st, he faced Joe Walcott, the Barbados Demon in Boston, 15 round draw, May 27th, Tommy Ryan, Corny Island. 18 round draw. The police stopped it in the 11th and 18th rounds 
for a welterweight championship match with Ryan. $5,000 in championship. Dallas, Texas was off. December 29, Jimmy Mann. No decision in four rounds. 1896. May 6th. Tommy Ryan in Syracuse, no decision, five rounds. May 18th, Kid McCoy, Boston, lost on a foul in six rounds. July 2nd, Billy Gaster, San Francisco, one round draw, stopped by the police. Ryan vacated the title, Smith claimed it. November 25th, Tommy Ryan, lost nine on a foul, 1897. January uh, 9th, Con Doyle, New York, 12 round draw. December 6th, Billy Mullen, Yonkers, second round victory. December 13th, Johnny Corman, Bridgeport, he won in five rounds. April 4th, Joe Walcott, Bridgeport. 25th uh, round draw. June 25th, Andy Walsh, Corny Allen. 20 round draw. July 29, George Green, New York. He won in 25. August 25th, Matty Matthews, New York. He defeated him in 25 rounds for the World Welterweight Championship. September 5th, Andy Walsh, Corny Allen. He drew in 25 rounds. October 7th, Charlie McClever, uh, McKeever, excuse me, New York, 25 round victory, World Welterweight title. November 14th, Tommy West, Bridgeport, 20 round draw. December 6th, Joe Walcott, New York. He defeated him in 20 rounds for the World Welterweight crown. 1899, January 24th, Billy Edwards, New York, 14 round KO. March 10th, Kid Lavin, San Francisco, 14 round victory. September 29th, Billy Stiff, Chicago, 6 round draw. October and November, he faced Charlie McKeever. No decision six, and he won in 20 rounds. 1900, January 15th, Rue Fern, Buffalo, lost on a foul, 21 rounds. He lost the welterweight championship. April 17th, Matty Matthews, New York. He was uh, knocked out in 19 rounds. May 4th, Joe Walcott, New York, lost in 25 rounds. Young Jackson, Cleveland. He won in 18 rounds. September 24th, he fought Joe Walcott again in Hartford, Connecticut. Lost on a foul in 10 rounds. November 22nd, Mike Donovan, Wheeling. It was a 16-round uh, draw. 1901, Owen Ziegler, 10-round draw. Tim Hurley, 20 round draw. 1903, May 28th, Joe Walcott, Portland, lost in four rounds. In 1920, Smith was running a hotel and Turkish bath at Tacoma, Washington. Total bouts 81, KO 13. He won on a decision 15. Won on a foul twice, drew 28, lost on a decision four, lost on a foul 10, he was stopped three times, no decision six, no contest, none. He died October 15th, 1937, at Portland, Oregon. So shout out to... Mysterious Billy Smith.
This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. I just want to quickly take this time out to thank all my new subscribers, all my current subscribers. I want to thank the Brother Blood Boxing, Marlowe's Corner, Phenom, Salute. And of course, my brother, Kush Shooter Anderson. Peace.